<coughs> hey, how's it going, guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to share a VBA script with you to make a backup of your Excel workbook every time when you save the file. So let me just give you a quick demo real quick. And here I have an Excel file. And so here I have a, a very simple table. In column B, I have the invoice ID and quantity, price, and total price. And the number setup is pretty uh, straightforward. So we have uh, the quantity is from 10 to 60, and price from 100 to six, uh, 600. And the total price is basically just quantity times price. And let me make this uh, center real quick. And the macro that I'm going to show you guys in this video is, so let's say when you make a change, I'm going to make the quantity from 10 to 55. And now I'm going to save the file. And actually, me so here I have a, a backup folder, and the uh, directory path is uh, the tutorial name, and followed by the backup. And I want to uh, save the backup in the backups folder. So here I'm going to move the Excel file to the left a little bit more. Now if I click on save, and here you see that a new backup file got created. And let me open the Excel file. So here, this uh, Excel copy is actually uh, the version before you set, you make the change to the quantity. So noticing that uh, before the quantity was 10, and now the quantity is 55. So basically, uh, this macro is going to uh, give you the ability to automatically to save a backup file while you to manually save the backup. Now let me close the uh, this backup file and now let's get started. All right, now the first step is we need to go to the developer tab and click on Visual Basic to open the Fibre window. So here you want to double click on this workbook and that will takes you to the, uh, the and that opens the this workbook uh, Fibre console. Now, so here, you want to select this uh, drop down on the from the top and choose workbook. So here I'm actually going to close the VBA project window. So here, um, like once you uh, select the workbook as the uh, active object, you want to go to the uh, top right hand corner. You want to look for before save events. So right here, before save. Now, let me delete the workbook open event. So the concept here is uh, we want to basically make a copy of the Excel file before the change is uh, applied. And to do that, so that's what we're using the before save because the macro will fire before the, the save is applied to your Excel workbook. Now, let's go ahead and create a subroutine. So we're going to, uh, fi we're going to code this subroutine every time when the uh, before save uh, work, workbook event is fired. So here I'm going to code this um, macro backup. Uh, should let me call this save backup. And we're going to have a parameter. So here our parameter is going to be uh, backup for the path, a string. And oops, by failure. Oh, so here I forgot the sub. And we're going to provide the backup uh, folder path to this parameter here. So here I'm actually going to, actually I'll do that later. So here I'm going to create my uh, objects and variables. So here I'm going to create a file system object. And extension name variable, file name. And as well as a uh, source workbook uh, object. So to start out, I'm going to create my file system object. object. So here, create using the create object uh, function or method, and want to provide the the file system object uh, scripting name. So the name should be scripting file system object. Let me just double check. So file system object. Okay, that looks right. And next we need to uh, create our source workbook. So we're going to uh, 
uh, reference uh, the current active workbook, which is this workbook. And here I'm just going to empty out the object at the end, just in case if I forget. And here I'm going to uh, get the extension name and the file name. So here, let me open the uh, emitter window. So if you uh, use uh, this workbook dot name, and that returns the file name that uh, you're working on. So here, let's continue and let me make a little bit more room. So here, I'm going to first of all get the extension name. And using the file system object, and there's a method called get extension name. This method will extract the uh, file extension name. And so here I'll provide my file name. So wb source.name. And here we'll need also need to extract the just the file name well the extension. And to do that, so we need to use the replace function and we'll grab the uh, the workbook name. So the workbook file name plus the extension, so wb source.name and we replace the the uh, pair concatenate with the extension name and we'll replace uh, the characters with uh, empty string now if I just do a quick debug.prints extension name and file name so here if I just uh, quickly run the subroutine oops actually I can't run these uh, because this is a um, subroutine with parameter. So actually, never mind. Oops, and I'll come back to that later. Let me close the immediate window. Okay. Now let me uh, delete these two lines. And we're almost finished. So here we can, using the uh, file system object, there's a method called copy file. And this method will basically uh, copy the the source file to a destination location that you simplify. So here, uh, using this workbook, that full name, and so, oops, so, uh, so this workbook that full name will returns the folder path plus the file name and comma. And here we'll jump a new line. And here I'll use the file system object again. So there's a method called build path. And this will basically um, build a complete path based on the text of values that you provide. So here I'm going to provide my uh, my parameter name. So my parameter uh, variable. And I'm going to concatenate the backup for the path with the uh, file name. And here I'm going to uh, include the uh, uh, today's date. I mean the days and the time uh, when the file is saved. So here the copy file method has two parameters. The first parameter is the source file location plus the file name, and the second parameter is the destination and plus the file name. So here we have the destination, which which is the backup for the path, and we need to concatenate with the file name, but we don't want the file name to be the same. We want the file name to have uh, meaningful information, so that way that when we come back, and if we need to extract uh, different backups, we know, uh, okay, you know this backup is safe on which this date and this time. So here, let's continue, and here I'll, con I'll use the format function, uh, and I'll format the uh, the format as, uh, months dash day and year with uh, hour, minute, and second. Where are the, the column? And we'll also insert the AM and PM. And here we'll, we'll wrap this up with a uh, close parenthesis and uh, pair. Now we need to concatenate uh, with the file extension. So extension name. Oops, here's a typo. This will book the full name copy file. Oh, 
don't know why. So here's the typo. It should be FSO. Okay, here we go. Now let me remove the extra line. In here, um, I'm going to grab the, the folder path where I want to save the backup. And let's create a variable called uh, thing backup folder path string. And we'll assign the uh, the folder directory to this variable right here. Now let's go ahead and call the save backup uh, subroutine. So call save backup, and we'll provide the uh, folder path. So backup folder path. Okay, and that should be it. So now let me um, make this a little small. And here's our backup folder. Now let me close the Fabian window. Actually, let me do a quick compile. Okay, that looks good. Now let me. So I'm going to. Uh, so I'm going to actually use a different color. So I'm going to change the 55 back to 10. And now if I click on save, and here's our Excel file. So let me just open the Excel file real quick. And here you see that the quality is 55 which is uh, before the change was uh, taking effect. So this is everything I have to show you guys. I found this previous script pretty useful uh, when I have to uh, build a Excel application for a client because sometimes I can't remember what change I make. Using this previous script, I can always um, make a backup for myself without even have to think about it. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found the information useful. And thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.